the Guam Hybrid Land Use Commission voted in favor of Vista Del Mar's request for an extension of time for their controversial development project. All in favor of uh, approving the motion for application H2020-31C, please uh, signify by saying aye, raise your right hand. Thank you very much. The ayes have it as you did this. Uh, application is approved. The multi-million dollar project includes a high-rise resort, water park, condos, and residential homes to be built along the island's northern shoreline near the Two Lovers Point planning zone. Today, Vista Del Mar Representative Daniel Swavely asking the commission to extend the one-year deadline as they are still in the permitting process. We are in that permitting process. And we're in it because we're not going to get to the there were moments when the live stream audio for today's public hearing was unclear. So to Manning Mayor Luis Rivera, whose village is impacted by the proposal, clarified what more was discussed. He was explaining it, you know, like where they're at on different um, sections and um, why there's a stall. And, you know, like with me, I totally understand because a lot of other developers as well, when they're doing the permitting process, um, they run into different issues with, you know, like with, um, for example, like EPA, if they find snails or if they find, um, uh, you know, there's just different roadblocks that prevent them from getting it right away. It was over a year ago the GLUC approved tentative development plans for the project despite pushback from the community over environmental and cultural concerns. A petition by Safe Southern Guam in opposition to the project gathering nearly 3,000 signatures and a letter campaign by Pratayula Texan seeing over 4,000 letters sent to the commission. But Rivera says when the notice for this meeting went out... We haven't received any anyone um, who are uh, was against it or objecting to uh, the approval for for the extension. Vista Del Mar now has one more year to get their permits in order before they can start construction. Mitsuki Hurayama, KUAM News.